small trial, a little bit of infrared light, uh, in a come bouncing off a helmet onto someone's head, actually makes a difference to their symptoms from Parkinson's. This is a trial done at Sydney Adventist Hospital. Their director of research is the neurologist, Dr. Jeff Herkis. Dr. Herkis, good morning. Uh, good morning, Rev. Thanks for talking to me. How does infrared light help? What was the result of your trial? So it sounds strange, doesn't it, that infrared light would do anything. So the purpose of this trial was to take 20 people with Parkinson's disease and 20, sorry, 40 people with Parkinson's disease, 20 wore a helmet with active light and 20 wore a helmet with sham light. Uh, and they did that for three months. And at the end of the first three months, uh, the people who had the active light improved in every part of their Parkinson's. They improved in tremor, um, upper limb, lower limb function, movement and facial expression. Uh, whereas in those who had the sham light, only about half actually improved. So there was a placebo effect, but there were certainly signs in that study, Raf, that uh, the active light actually does something in Parkinson's and it was very well tolerated. The next part of the study is where we swap them over. So those who got the, the non-active light get the active light and those who had the active light get the sham. And that's still being analysed. But certainly in that first wave of studies, uh, there seems to be something biologically in it. And so we were quite excited by that. It's the first time with this particular Parkinson's device that there's been any kind of evidence of of uh, activity in a placebo type of study. I'm kind of amazed, to be honest, the placebo had an improvement with half of the people, but I won't ask about that. How or why is the infrared making a difference? Do you understand the science of that? Not really, Raf, but there have been experiments. This has been around for quite a long time, and there have been some experiments in animals that suggest that it has some effect on the mitochondria, which are the energy-producing um, organelles of cells. And it seems to improve energy production in mitochondria. There's a whole bunch of other theories. It affects brain waves, etc. But we really don't know. And again, that's got to be some further work. Uh, if our second study is positive, which I'm very hopeful it will be, uh, that uh, we'll have to start to work on the mechanisms of it. Ralph. What sort of long-term treatment might flow from this? So one of my colleagues uh, who was the inventor of this device actually has studied people for three years um, in Adelaide using a similar device and they've continued to use it. Uh, so it's an adjunct, it's in addition to the normal treatment, which is usually medicines. Uh, but they have found over a three year period that there's still very positive effects on sleep, movement, behaviour, even believe it or not, to some of the other symptoms, constipation, etc., uh, do seem to improve with the device. So we really do need some further evidence as to why it works and, and get this second part analysed. But it seems to be really uh, positive at the moment, Raf. Anyone who knows anyone with Parkinson's knows what a significant thing it is to deal with. The people who benefited from this, what did they say? How did they feel? So they were very positive. We got quite a lot of uh, uh, feedback from the participants as we went through. Now, of course, they didn't know whether they were getting active or the sham, but um, certainly on the uh, on the kind of the, the kind of the uh, data that we got from them, they were really positive. And at the end of the study, those who had the active all wanted to keep going. So, so I think that's significant as well. How long until it's a general treatment, Dr. Herk? Is there we sort of Five years, ten years. What? What? what I think guess? it'll be sooner than that, Raf. I oh. think it's a matter of just, uh, just kind of getting some more data, and making sure all of the regulatory things are done as, as appropriate, and then I think it'll be much sooner than that. I think it'll be within uh, six months plus. Thanks so much for joining us. Sounds amazing. Thanks, Thanks for taking the call. Great. Bye. Dr. Jeff Herkus, he's a neurologist. He directed that research at the Sydney Adventist Hospital. Just helmets with infrared light on them, directed at people's heads massive improvement in a whole range